What's up? All right, boys and girls. Y'all, I am back in not a business. <sighs> My apologies for allowing the elite educated of the freaking world to get in my way. I'm quite flattered it took them to step in my way, but I'm done with those fuckers. Honestly, game off. Done. They can go away. So, uh, Hippogriff says, Panther Sports Nutrition, are they a good source? Now, there's a hippo asking me about a panther. What am I supposed to take from this? <laughs> uh, I have no idea. I have no idea who the fuck they are. Um, give me some more information. Call the company. Ask them for a COA. See what they know what they're talking about. If they have any, you know, knowledge of their product and if they can provide evidence of uh, decency, maybe. I, you know. So let me go back to the next question. Uh, this is on Anabolics Anonymous Google Group, by the way. Can't sleep taking MK677. This does happen to some people um, due to the growth hormone um, surge. If you're one of those people that about 2 o'clock in the morning you pop up, usually about between 12 and 2, you get a surge of growth hormone. For some reason, the circadian clock kicks in about then. So if you're one of those people and you take something like MK677 from neuroids.com or that gum. That can happen. It usually just means you need to roll over and go back to sleep. Um, because that's all the information that you get. Oh, by the way, uh, songs are not for human consumption. They are not to be eaten. They are not to be plugged. They are not to be banged. They are not to be snorted. They are not to be used as a cosmetic. Um, there are no claims that I make that any of these are going to do anything with fall. Um, there's no claims made that these are for humans or by, they are not for humans. You don't, like, you don't take. They're only for research beasts, test cookie monsters and dragons from other places unknown to, you know what I'm talking about, right? Fuck you lawyers. I hate y'all. Um, <laughs> Rad140. I uh, just wanted to post my text, Rhino, my T-Rex. I've never read these before, by the way. I'm just going through them. Results, Rad on 41st cycle of anything ever on him. Ran it solo as RC before. I thought it was your first cycle. <laughs> Wasn't even aware of new roids. Uh, excited to do the next cycle. Um, LGD through new roids. There's there's not a Z on the end. I tried to get that, but I think somebody stole it. Um, and hoping for similar results. Age 24, lift in a height 62. The gains from this stuff are absolutely insane. My T Rex Rhino experienced a plateau and even a downward trend of some of its lifts before starting. The next week, they were back to the top of the plateau. And within a week and a half, the strongest they have ever been in their life. Part of that, at first, I thought, could be the mental placebo. Yeah, I don't know. I thought that too, like the first three, day three, my saber-toothed fish frog monkey mouse was into his first ever um, trial of MK2866. And by about day five, I was like, boy, I ran to my pain this train and I might do something to this shit. But um nonetheless. Let's see. Uh strength uh strength in the main it lifts bench squat deadlift skyrocketed and weight climbed steadily. Up from week five, then body weight stopped about 208. Hey, you right there over there? How tall are you? What did you say? 6'2? Oh, you look, you're about two inches taller than me, so. Um, got as high as 210, but that was after a big eating day. Yeah, little bro will do that. Body fat percentage stayed basically the same, but noticeable improvements in vascularity, especially around week five, six. 
Would have run longer, but didn't want the suppression sides. The T-Rex Rhino feels slightly suppressed, but not terrible after it was six weeks. Going to run a couple of weeks of test up for PCT. Yeah, that's something that you do have to understand is running these chemicals um, that are SARMs. You're going to, while taking them, your testosterone levels drop. The thing is, is they come back so quickly, you maintain your muscle if you're willing to do the six weeks and not the eight or ten. And not you. When I say you, I mean fish, frog, monkey, mouse, saber, tooth, spider, cricket, like a lot of those because people do not take this. But, and you know what, lawyers, would you really rather me just allow people to do this without any information like that going through so they just fuck themselves up one right after another? I mean, you are some stupid bastards. God's honest truth. Y'all need to get the fuck out of a free man's life. We don't fucking need you. Sorry. Um. <laughs> Sorry, Becky. Okay. Um. So, you get that own cycle dip, but it comes back so quickly that all muscle mass is maintained and kept. That's the beautiful thing about it. You... It's the equivalent of going on a blast of test without the repercussions to your liver, your kidneys, or without the repercussions of losing your gains because it takes so long to recover from that stuff. Remember, when you take a hormone, your body stops producing a hormone. It, why would I produce it whenever... As a matter of fact, you know what? If you ran test for six weeks, you would probably get the same results. The problem is, is you wouldn't get as dramatic an increase in strength and size in six weeks as you do with SARMs. Believe that. You do get close, but I bet running, somebody needs to do a study on that. Run six weeks cycle home, six off. Or six weeks. Yeah, but you got to deal with the liver and kidney toxicity, so time on equals time off. It probably wouldn't work yet. Never mind, shit. It was worth, it was worth the thought, man. I'm just thinking while I do this, you know? Um... Almost done, slight in, increase in facial acne. How did that happen? However, that was managed due to good skincare product, which should be doing anyway. Nothing on the back of shoulders, some size of suppression, just lethargy started kicking in around week five, but the gains never stopped. This product, uh, every lift was a new personal record. Hell yeah. Wouldn't let my... Would I let my T-Rex Rhino run it again? Oh, would I? Absolutely. Anyone who says songs are bullshit <laughs> um, and nothing like real gear is either someone who has been a heavy steroid user for many, many years or has their head up their ass. I know, right? <laughs> um, for first cycle, I'm not sure I could have imagined that these results in my wildest dreams after only six weeks. If anyone has been lifting natural for a long time and needs an extra boost, hell, I'm gonna hire you, man. Like, God bless. Um, this uh, is the way to go. I can't wait till I try other compounds, but my first responded incredibly well to RAD. This stuff is legit. Hey, and that's low dosed. Like, there's no point in running higher doses, by the way. A three milligrams would give gave the same results in trials as 300. The only difference was the toxicity, but you'll get better results with higher dosed LGD. What was that LGD? No, that was RAD. Higher dosed LGD is amazing. Where'd you go on both? My apologies, I should have remembered that. No. Results running RAD 140 for a first cycle. Oh, yeah, there you go. I wasn't even aware of new roads and excited to do both the next cycle of LGD for new roads and hoping for some. Oh, that was from, uh, never mind. You got proper dose um, from IRC. By the way, aren't they going out of business? I need to go follow their stock. <laughs> we ain't going nowhere. <laughs> anyway, appreciate you, uh, Buff Jaguar. Sounds good. So, let's go. <laughs> Non-stem fat burner. Seth, recommend awesome, not 
Can you recommend an awesome non stem fat burner? Oh, meow. Meow, leave me alone. Um, you got one right here. Slender. This is your cortisol blocker. I can't like my coat. Yeah, I would never have to use it again. Um, non stem fat blocker and um, your cortisol blocker. Actually, has been shown to reduce cortisol, block fat by covering the liver with an enzyme that doesn't allow the fat to be processed through the liver. Therefore, you have to shoot it out. Um, it also has the because you're not getting those fats. It has the uh, support factors to help you with appetite control and to help with. Um, cramps and things like that because sometimes whenever you don't get enough fat you can have those issues one of the things to do though is in between taking these if you're worried about getting enough fats is to take some uh, EFAs like some essential fatty acids or omega-369 combinations for your heart and your uh, muscle and the whole nine yards. these right here are going to be like the best one you can find nutritional health care it's about NEW um, you can get that at nutritionalhc.com, neuroids.com, uh, nutricare.com. Anyway, so those that's a great non-stem fat burner. If you want a low-stem fat burner, the best stuff ever made is Dyer's Delight. Stuff's awesome. Um, Kraken. Now, the Kraken, that's your name, by the way, but Kraken is not a non-stimulant. That is crack. With an E in it. <laughs> anyway, it's not an option. <laughs> Nonetheless, let's just go back. It, it's good, pretty workout though. It, it do the damn thing. Alright, one more, one more, one more. And then I gotta hit the gym myself. 42 on, 7 off. Bing. Running cycle like, already doing for three days. Uh, okay, we just got your whole thing. I don't feel major suppression. Okay, we just. Ron, thank you. Handled that bit. Peace. Back. One more. Blood test results after SARMS. <laughs> Friends, I'm sure anybody interested, but I wanted to post the results of my animal's blood test before and after SARMS. The test is 49 years old, 5'9", and prior to SARMS, 178. Uh, blood and test. Blood test before any SARMS showed. A free test was 517. Yep. Cholesterol was 160. HDL 386. LDL 105. What did you name? That was before? Blood test before any SARMS showed free test. Was it 517? God damn, why did you get free test? I don't think. Cholesterol was at 160. HDL 36. LDL 105. Liver panel numbers were within normal limits. All SARMS and ancillaries from new roads. First time cycle 10 milligrams RAD for three weeks, 20 milligram, 30 milligram, for three weeks, six weeks total RAD. And Siller and Siddhary included test of Arm Care Pro Boost Test and reduced estrogen PCT. Test PCT is three, three weeks of Clomid. Wow. For two weeks, Super PCT for three weeks. You're going to bottom your estrogen out like a motherfucker. Test animal gained 10 pounds. Cool. Looked hard, strength through the roof. After PCT, took several weeks of everything. Weight drifted down about 4 or 5 pounds. Strength decreased slightly, but physique was fundamentally changed. Everybody noticed and asked what the heck this animal was doing. RAD changed the animal's physique. That's the only way I can describe it. Excellent. Second arm cycle, LGD 4033, 5 milligrams in the morning, 5 milligrams PM. For six weeks, test up Arimity during cycle, PCT, Novadex, Armadex. That's a lot of PCT right there. Test animal gained another 10. <laughs> It never looked bigger, but uh, some of the weight looked like fat as LTD caused test animal to eat a lot. Not bad, he got some daughters to like for him. Um, test animal did not complain of any sides during this other than noticeable increase in agitation. You know, sometimes, 
sometimes we just get pissed because well life happens <laughs> uh, results of blood test as follows free test 540 what not sure how the hell free test was up I'm not sure how the hell free test gets that high cholesterol was 190 went up from 160 yeah that's gonna happen um, HDL was up that's fucking awesome but LDL was also up to 132. What the hell? It was 105. But that's okay. You need that stuff. All liver panel result. Uh, all liver panel numbers remain within normal limits. In summary, my test animals total cholesterol went up. Bad. <sighs> Oxygen. Um, good cholesterol went up. <laughs> then it balances. Bad cholesterol went up, uh, free test up, well that, okay, so I'm just the receptor causing free test go up, and liver numbers all stayed normal, limits, bad. Overall physique noticeably improved, kept much of the gains made, rad is better for my test subject than LGD, next cycle will be either RAD, dude, I need to send you some shit, I like you. Alright, <laughs> anyway, so here's what happened there. Your LDL cholesterol levels are going to go up anytime you take an anabolic, no matter what that anabolic is. If it is Sustanon or Trimbolin or S23 or LGD. Reason being is that muscle right there is connected to a bone. That connects that bone with sticky stuff we call cholesterol. LDL being the bad cholesterol is the sticky cholesterol but it doesn't go around just free floating sticking to your damn arteries for shits and giggles god's not retarded what happens is you get a cracked and bleeding arterial wall when that happens you got to stop that crack up you stop that crack up with ldl cholesterol it creates what we know as a blockage what the body knows is saving your ass so you don't internally bleed to death when the internal crack gets too big the blockage will get too big and blood flow stops but it wasn't the LDL's fault. It was the fact that the patient did not get the proper nutrients to rebuild the cardiovascular system and did not have the proper hormones to do so. Now, numero A, raw materials to rebuild cardiovascular system. We believe that the body can heal itself when it's given the raw materials necessary to do so and it has the hormones necessary to heal, which if this were a perfect world, your research animal could take MK677. That would increase growth hormone, which would give the body the hormone necessary to tell the other hormones how to rebuild the cardiovascular system. And then you're providing the raw materials with the heart to rebuild cardiovascular system. And I know, brilliant, done. That way we can avoid heart disease in theory. I hope y'all followed that. That was really fast. But I don't know how else to do it. Appreciate y'all. Peace. Oh, and thanks, man, for contributing. Anabolics Anonymous Google group. Y'all find it. Uh, Neuroids.com. Hell, I didn't even put a thing up there. Just go to Neuroids.com if you need something, man. Any way I can help y'all, I'm here to serve you. My only job exists to serve you. I have been out of commission for a little while, but that was because someone was trying to attack you. And I couldn't have that, so I made it stop. Thanks. Honestly, man. Like, that's the only reason I got a job. I don't work for other people real well.